you were messing with a married man. Oh, Felix, you got to hold the man accountable. I will not do that. I will not hold the man accountable, right? He's a man of power. Man of power smash hoes. She is a hoe, right? You cannot stop the hoage from coming, right? Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trousers. Hey, check this out, man. This is the first time on He Rants. I want to let you know, I'm just a random guy. Let's talk about random stuff that interests me, and I just feel like I need to inform you guys about it. That sounds sexy or attractive to you? Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way, you'll always be when I first hear the voice. Same time, leave a like because I'm so damn insecure. And those likes definitely let me know I'm doing a stand-up job. Same time, you gotta buy the merch. Mofo, men offering females orgasms because we're so humble. Link in the description box below. But let's not waste no more time. Let's get right into these stories. Man, we got to talk about Target, guys. Target has been in the news as of recently because you guys know, I think like two or three days ago, I reported on the whole situation with the tuck-friendly clothing, right? So yeah, man, it looks like people have been really serious about putting forward with the boycott. Apparently now, uh, <laughs> they said Target has lost over what five billion dollars in their in their five five billion what what nine billion dollars in market value in one week. See, I, I was saying five. I was saying five. I thought I was being general. Nine milli. No, Billy, because it's a B, right? Billy, nine bi Billy, Billy. Oh, God. What am, what am I doing? So At the end of the day, the point I'm trying to make is this. The boycott is actually working, right? To a certain extent, because apparently I think Target has been, their, their, their market value has been dropping for the past, what, six months now already. Uh, but I will say this, within this last week, it's it was going on a steady slope right but in this last week it kind of dipped a little bit stronger so i'm pretty sure this has something to do with it the boycott man and i think we need to keep pushing this even further right i'm under the belief that target is just too big to fail right i, I feel like it's going to be a little bit hard for target to go out of business anything is possible though anything is possible you just got to believe you know what i'm saying like I said, I'm not for cancel culture, man. But this transgender movement stuff is getting out of hand, guys. At first, what was the whole thing that everybody was when it came, you know, with with uh, gays, lesbians, LGBTQ? Oh, they shouldn't get married. After they were allowed to get married, I thought that was it. What else do y'all need, son? It's done, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's finished. All right, cool. All right, all right set it off to the side. We'll be good. Then the transgenders came out and said, hey, wait a minute. And when I'm saying that, I'm saying that as a transgender woman with a deep voice. Wait a minute. Nah, we got to start changing pronouns, words in the dictionary, all types of hollabaloos and whatnot and stuff. Now we're even going to make it. Listen, now we got a whole pride month, guys. I want you guys to understand this. <laughs> you guys already know I'm homophobic, guys. Transphobic, all the bigoted, all the stuff they love to call. I'm all of that, right? Why the hell do we have a pride month? Why do we have a month based off sexual preference? I want I want to understand that. Why do we have a month? Oh, because men and men like each other, and women and women like each other, and there's also the non-binaries. We should all celebrate it. But like, why is this celebrate? I don't understand why it's celebrated. Like, and this is a serious question. I'm trying to understand why is it celebrated? Somebody break it down to me. Because the only right y'all didn't have was to get married. Y'all got that now. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, granted, even though you can still celebrate, I guess that you got. But I don't think you need a whole month. A whole month about dick to booty action son or or, or scissoring so I'm like what what is like i don't understand what the i don't get it i just i just don't get it give them a a a, a week no no not even a week a week is too much give them lgbtqia plus day or something yeah a, a a a day mothers have a day fathers have a day fathers don't have a whole month mothers don't have a whole month why the lgbtq have a whole month martin luther king only got one day and then the thing that the thing that's crazy, and this is not this is not to go back and forth with black and LGBTQ. Black people, right? They have the shortest month in the year, 28 days, 29 days on the leap year. But for some reason, why do the gays and lesbians get the best freaking how you get June? You get a warm month, so you guys can go out there and do your marches and parades or what all that stuff, right? 
and it's a long month. It's 31 days. Was it 31 days or 30 days? Either way, it's more than February. February's all cold and stuff. Nobody really want to come outside and stuff. Like, come on, guys. How's that even fair? You know, it's, it's just I don't I don't get it. It's like it's not even a it's not even a, a gay history month. It's just a month just for being gay. I guess, I mean. We gotta talk about Elon Musk, guys. Elon Musk. Everybody keeps saying the same thing. Like he's our Tony Stark. He's Iron Man, right? I have yet to see a suit. I have yet to see a suit. I think Elon Musk is impressive. Really, really. I honestly believe that he's very impressive, very rich. And if I was him, I'd be doing a whole lot more stupid things with my money. Definitely hoes, right? Probably have at least three SCDs by now. That would be me, right? Um, Because, you know, you got to go in there raw. Because it's not... I don't want to sleep with condoms. I sleep raw, son. Because you, you, you feel like you're smashing a condom when you wear a condom. You got to live life on the edge, guys. And as long as you believe in Disney... You'll be all right. You'll be all right. But the reason why we're talking about Elon Musk, right? Because Neuralink, right, has just been approved by the FDA. For those of you guys who don't know what Neuralink is, is a chip that they're putting in your head to allow you to. If someone ultimately does get a Neuralink installed, what will take place? What exactly is it? Basically, it implanted in your skull. Uh, take out a chunk of skull, replace, put the Neuralink device in there. In principle, fix almost anything that is wrong with the brain. So it could be something that uh, you know helps cure eyesight, like give you returns your eyesight, even if you like lost your optic nerve. Like it, really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hearing, so yeah, it could um, restore limb functionality. So if you've got uh, somebody who's a quadriplegic to full functionality, like they can walk around, you know. Whoa. Yeah. So maybe slightly better. Slightly better. Uh, over time. And you wouldn't even know that somebody has it. Besides re re restoring limb function and eyesight and hearing, which are all amazing, is there are there any cognitive benefits that you anticipate? Uh, yeah, I mean, when you get old, you tend to Alzheimer's or something like that. But this could help you with, you know, restoring your memory. Whoa. Yeah. The fear is that eventually you're gonna have to cut the whole top of someone's head off and put a new top sure. with a whole bunch of wires. I mean, ultimately, if you if you want to go with AI symbiosis, you'll probably want to do something like that. Symbiosis is a scary word when it comes to AI. It's optional. <laughs> <laughs> you, you literally could fundamentally change the way human yeah. beings interface with each other. Yes. Yes. You wouldn't need to talk. <laughs> do i think it's revolutionary i think it is i think it's, i think it's huge right i think this is big if it works well some people think when fda approves something it means it's perfect no sometimes fda can be bought out i'm not sure if they, this is what happened but Neuralink, basically what they basically do is it gives the ability like if you're paralyzed you'll be able to walk you know if you're blind you'll be able to see you know what I'm saying? it can help certain ailments that's the that's what they're gonna use it for, right? I guess it just unlocks the true potential of the brain, right? Cause you know what they say, we'll use about half of our brain or a small percentage of our brain. Our brain is capable of doing a whole lot of stuff. Like if you swallow the limitless pill and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? But the reason why this is getting frowned upon a little bit is because A, they pretty much have killed oh, what, about 1500 animals just during testing right a lot of people you know peter all them people are upset and like how dare you kill all those animals blah, blah, blah. man after mess man, them animals can lick my gooch screw the animals bro what are the animals ask yourself this what are these animals doing for you what are they doing for you right are animals getting my dick licked no they're not unless you're a creep or weirdo right what are they really do? What are these animals doing? Except for dogs. Dogs, they, they, you know, cats. What the hell do cats do? You're just their slave. You feel me? At least a dog can protect you depending on what type of dog you got. Barking if there's an intruder. What does the cat do? The cat is going to be like, oh, shit, there's an intruder and run away. You know what I'm saying? He might hiss a little bit, but still probably run away. You feel me? Like, come on, guys. Like, I, I don't understand. What are these other animals that they're testing? Like, chimps. When's the next time you're going? Are you going to dap up a chimp? You're not going to dap up a chimp. You're not going to shake a, a chip's hand, right? A lot of these animals, y'all have some of y'all haven't even been to the zoo. I'm not getting mad about the stuff, man. I mean, I understand why you get mad, but you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's why a lot of people's having backlash. Like, oh, well, I'm not sure. How is this FDA approved? How is it ready for the public? 
but you've killed 1500 animals right probably even more you know i doubt it was exactly 1500 he was like all right 1500 all right guys this is 1501 y'all better make sure that this one don't kill because i'm not trying to go over 1500 like it's probably more probably more, closer to 1800 probably rounded it down you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what I'm who knows right but all i know is this i'm not sure if this is if this is going to be safe right um some people might say this is a part of the illuminati the mark of the beach you know that uh, i said did i say mark of the bitch like what did i say <laughs> but it's a yo the mark of the beast right and it's a you might get it implanted before you know it. 666 is going to pop up on your forehead and stuff and you'll be worshiping the dark lord i don't know you know they've been saying this for a long time watch out man they're gonna put chips in us bill gates is at it you feel me i don't know it might be possible man listen every conspiracy theory i hear i never say that it's not true i always be like there's a possibility i just don't know i need more information you feel me but uh, who knows if it does cure blindness and if i go blind when i'm older might uh, who knows i might you know what i'm saying if it, it can help me do some other stuff if i get paralyzed can help me walk who knows bro imagine imagine now you're a paralyzed man right you haven't been able to use your penis right Elon Musk says, you put this chip in, you be stroking hoes again. That dude is like, bro, come on, man. He's rolling over there so fast. You feel me? You talking about I can use my penis again? You talking about I don't got to wear a diaper no more? Sign me up for that. Open my head up. Open my head up. Put me in. Put, 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 put that in there. Put that in there. If you talking about that, hey, who knows, man? Hey, but if it doesn't work and somebody gets it, Elon Musk is getting sued. I'm pretty sure he got good lawyers ready for that. But either way, damn, that'll be suck. If if he gets hit with a class action lawsuit, it might be a lot of money. But all the people are probably gonna get pennies. That's probably how it goes. Who knows though? We gotta talk about a guy, Donnie T, Don Dizzle, Donald Trump himself, right? The reason why we're talking about Donald Trump is because. A young lady by Miss McDonald. I forgot her. What's, what's her first name? McDonald. McDonald. What? Whatever. She was a swimsuit model, right? She was actually a playmate of the year in 1997, 1998. If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to have to go back and check my notes again uh, to confirm. But yeah, so she was somewhat of a big deal, and I believe she came out and said that she met Donald Trump around 2006, 2006, and they had a 10-month affair, right? Keep in mind that this guy Donald Trump married his wife Melania in 2007. Was it 2006 they met? I'm not sure. Maybe it was 2005. Let me check. Let me make sure. So, yeah. So, the young lady, her name is Karen, by the way. Funny. Actually, funny that her first name is Karen. But, yeah. So, they did meet in 2006, right? And, you know, that boy, that boy, you know, they met at the Playboy match and everything, man. That boy, Donnie Boy's like, listen, man, you're going to get this old pipe. And he was giving that junk. You know, feel me? 10 months straight. And she wanted to keep this to herself. She felt like this story was something that she didn't want to keep it on the side until this guy, Donald Trump, wanted to run for president in 2016. And what happened? You know what happened. When the hoes feel clout is right around the corner, they pounce. So she decided to go to the you know National Enquirer, talk to her. They paid her 150 bands. 150 bands to go ahead and tell her story about how she had an affair with Donald J. Trump. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, man, it's crazy. It's crazy. Joints is be coming out with the woodworks. Like, yo, this guy's doing good. Let me come and try to destroy him or something, right? I don't understand why that is, right? The use of clout is ridiculous. And it's mainly women that be doing this thing. That's the wild thing, right? So the, the Inquirer, they never released a the interview they never released the interview i don't know why you would pay 150 000 just to never use the interview so i don't understand maybe they heard something and they realized like this is this is a lot of bs maybe 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 <laughs> maybe it's not even a thing who knows i doubt it i think he was in them cheeks you feel me hey you're running for president gotta if you have the ability to run for president bro you you, you cheated on your wife 100 percent. you had to i feel like that's almost a prerequisite to get in there you know, John F. Kenny, who's out there with Marilyn uh, Monroe and all that stuff, you feel me? Like, all these other whole... You, you got Bill Clinton out there with uh, Lewinsky. You know what I'm saying? Lew Lewinsky, whatever her name is, bro. The, the freaking thought in the freaking White House. You feel me? It's it just... You gotta cheat on your wife, guys. 
this is not this these type of stuff shouldn't be stories oh you told me the the president of the united states you know what oh but he wasn't the president of the united states but he was a quote-unquote billionaire at the time right donald trump he was a quote-unquote building billionaire around 2006 right if not a billionaire in a major 100 millions 900 million dollars he's gonna cheat on his wife he's gonna cheat on his girls melania is his third wife come on guys so now donald trump is saying that he's running for president once again right and now that he's running for president why not why not jump in she's jumping in again to release her story now she's meet with the daily mail and she's giving them the full scoop want to release that all right and you know what you know what's gonna happen she's gonna get a little bit of clout right she might she might get a little bit of clout but what happens after that forget about her forget about her just just another thought you know what i'm saying you're a thought of lena you feel me you were messing with a married man Oh, Felix, you got to hold the man accountable. I will not do that. I will not hold the man accountable, right? He's a man of power. Man of power smash hoes. She is a hoe, right? You cannot stop the hoage from coming, right? If the hoe, listen, there's many times I've seen joints. I'm like, wow, I can't believe it. You must, do you have a father? Like, why are you trying to give me the cheeks like this? This is, this is unbecoming of you. This is just unattractive. Why would you do such a thing? right but i'll happily still take the cheeks who knows maybe that's how donald trump is feeling like this girl's a thought or she's really really easy she knows i'm married i'm donald j trump you know i'm married or you know i'm probably seeing somebody come on now don't be oh he, he was making me feel like i was the only one shut up he doesn't call you past 9 30 p.m he doesn't he doesn't call you past that time why because he's with his girl you know that you knew that but you didn't want to listen you still want to do it because it's donald j trump i get it man Hey, and it helped you get 150000 I don't know how much Daily Mail is paying. She probably asked, Danny, you gonna me in? Nah, Daily Mail is probably like, yo, you can you can give us the interview. You can suck our dicks. You feel me? That's it. Either or, you know, we don't need your story. Donald Trump is a is a, is a freaking story on his own. We find something. We don't need you, Slim. You feel me? But hey, it is what it is. Get your bag up, right? Get your bag up, no matter what it takes. Regardless if it makes you look like a thought, right? As long as you get your money, you can be a thought in happiness in glory right that's why like, like mia khalifa right mia khalifa is clearly happy you know what i'm saying like a lot of these porn stars right that are big time porn stars you know what i'm saying they're clearly happy nobody's making fun of them saying that they get skeeted on and whatnot and everybody respects their skeet money right their whore money you feel me it is what it is you feel me i said you feel me ten thousand times but it is what it is let's end this video right now <laughs> And that's all I got to say on this, man. If you stay this long, I appreciate you. I love you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way you'll be one of the first to hear the voice. Same time, leave a like because I'm so damn insecure. Those likes that you let me know I'm doing a stand-up job. Same time, you gotta buy the merch. Mofo, men offering females orgasms because we're so humble. Link in the description box below. My dog is barking. <laughs> and that's all I got to say. Peace and blessing, you ugly mofos. And I'm out. You shut the hell.